welcome back to Leeds Lately. Today's video is going to be a kind of match reaction, but I'm just going to talk about what it was like to actually get back in the stadium uh, at the Leeds versus Blackburn game at Ewood Park. So, as I was actually arriving into Blackburn, there was, I, I think I must have seen about two Blackburn fans, honestly. Um, and wh when I got into the stadium, this it became apparent that I think we had more fans than they did. Honestly, you'll see from some of the videos that are going in this, even from the one at the start with marching on together, that they had hardly any fans, but we absolutely packed out the uh, the away stand, so it was great to be back in the stadium. Leeds fans are in full voice, singing, marching on together. Unreal. Junior Furpo's got a chant already, so he started the game. Um, his first game for the club, and he played well, I thought. He came off... Um, midway through the second half but I thought he played well um, and he did get forward a couple of times and make some good runs into the box um, yeah but good game we were all over them um, Bamford and, and Phillips didn't play obviously Phillips still resting from, from the Euros so it was mostly a full strength team other than um, a couple of players like I've just mentioned so Rodrigo was up front and, and Rafinha alongside him on that uh, right-hand side. But I thought when they were taken off for Greenwood and Roberts, we just completely lost that attacking edge. Um, our goal, Pascal Stroik came up with the goal late on, um, came to him in the box and he, he just fizzed it in the bottom corner, took a bit of a deflection. Um, you'll see that in the video. And um, their goal, very jammy. Like I said, we were on top for a lot of the game and we did create chances um, we just couldn't finish them and, and their goal came from Helder Costa giving away a silly free kick where they hit it and I said to my mate in the crowd, I said, this is going to hit the wall and it did hit the wall but it completely wrong footed the keeper and went in the opposite direction to where to where the taker aimed it. So, bit unlucky, in fact very unlucky because we were all over them. They brought hardly any fans um, in summary and... Uh, also, they wore that red and black kit, so I don't know if you've seen it. You'll see it from the videos. They've got red on one side, black on the other, exactly like Newell's old boys. Uh, and Newell's old boys, if you go on my Twitter, leads underscore lately, um, I liked and retweeted, I think, where they were basically saying that Blackburn were wearing their kit, words to that effect. But yeah, in, in general, it was just fantastic to be back in a football stadium again, even if it wasn't Elland Road. Um it was just amazing to be in the away end at, uh, at a game. Angus Kinnear was actually in the crowd with the Leeds fans uh, alongside the um, the communications officer that's in the in the documentary. I can't quite remember his name, sorry. But um, yeah, like I say, amazing feeling to be back in the crowd, um, all chanting, all singing, all absolutely loving it. Um, Junior Firpo's got his chant already. They've they've replaced the Kiko Casilla and Pablo Hernandez chant with Diego Lorente and, and Junior Firpo, so um, he'll be buzzing about that on his first game. Uh, but yeah, overall, good game to watch. Fantastic to be back in the stadium, and really looking forward to uh, to this season now. Um, yeah, it's going to be amazing, uh, especially if we can get a few more um, a few more players through the door. But I'll uh, I'll leave you with a few more clips of the game uh, and the players coming over to the crowd at the end to to thank us for coming. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> 